right next to each other. <clears throat> Turn your big hole in there. How's it going, shooters? I'm out here in the backyard having some fun getting a can cut in. Uh, the can cut's actually being done with a design that came to me just in a series of sketches that I was doing when uh, Hurricane Ian was hitting us just before Halloween, I think it was. But uh, I ended up drawing three or four different slingshots. If you follow me on USA Slingshot Shooters on Facebook, you have seen the Vortex, which is a tube only uh, frame that I've made. And you've seen the Storm Surge, which is the same style frame for flat bands. In that group, I had another one that I drew up that is mirrored frame, so it's fully symmetrical. So it could be for left or right handed shooters, the way it's made. Now it's an 85 millimeter fork gap, 23 millimeter tips, and it is called Twister. Uh, all the designs were basically named after stuff that had to do with a hurricane, and guys in the Slingshot group on Facebook helped me name a lot of the designs. I don't remember who named what or who shot out what name, but if you're one of those guys that helped me name those three frames, Twister, Vortex and Storm Surge. Guys, thank you very much. Uh, this one is a wrap and tuck version. These will be done here real shortly by Jordan Smothers of Smo Slings. Uh, he's also in that Facebook group. He also has his own page, Smo Slings, if you look for it there. Also an Etsy store, Smo Slings. Uh, this is the wrap and tuck version. He's also going to be doing a binding post version. So he had sent me one of each to test out and see how I liked them and see how they shot and so far they're both shooting very very well. Just me personally as force of habit I even do it with the sandwich sights or the sandwich clips. I go right to grab, I, I grab right for wrap and tuck every time. That's just me. Uh, the thing from my hand size, it feels great. You can thumb brace it. If your hand is such big enough, you can pinch grip it. The taper at the bottom will prevent your hand from sliding off. It will prevent the slingshot from pulling from your hand. So, uh, <clears throat> I mean, there's not a whole lot more I can say about it other than if it's something that interests you to hit up Jordan Smothers. Here's a look at it again. He sent me the black and yellow. So black core yellow faces on the HDPE. This thing shoots and holds very, very nice, guys. Jordan, Jordan worked wonders on this design for me. So... We'll take a couple shots. I believe he said he's going to try to get some cut out and on his on enlisted this week. That's my fault from going from upright to shooting gangster style. All right, let's see if we can bring that shot up. Up and to the right. Still up and right. Trust me, the frame shoots good, I don't. <laughs> Alright, back to upright shooting. Right through that same hole I made. I got a really big hole in that can right now. To the left. Right. The overall feel of this thing, guys, is awesome. So, I am looking forward to seeing what else 
Jordan will work out with. There we go. We've got another one of his frames that I'm currently shooting and I'm going to plan on a review for. It's definitely one of those frames that would be great for a kid, especially with BBs and 6mm. Uh, it's, his, uh, it's his new frame, uh, the, the little brother to the Kodiak, his cub. But out here lately I've been shooting this since he sent these to me. These twisters are really, really nice. But then again, I'm, I'm one of those that I like all slingshots. So. There we go. Now when it comes to the frame itself, I personally won't do a review on it for the simple fact of uh, it is my design. <clears throat> I'm the one that drew that frame out for Jordan to make. So I will not do a review on it. I do honestly look forward to other YouTubers to do reviews on them. I want to hear some feedback. So if I have to make changes and edits to it, I can update the frame down the road. So I'd love to know what some of the other shooters think about it, be it KOS, be it Can Vandal, be it uh, Chuck and Steel. I'd like to hear what people think about the frame. Ooh, just skimmed it to the right. I'm literally cutting that can right down the middle. Right in the middle. But it, it does, it shoots. Once I'm on with it, it shoots really, really, really nice. All right, if you look next to my big barrel, I think you all should be able to see it, I hope. But there's a five gallon water jug. Inside that water jug is a 25 mil spinner. I'm gonna give it a shot. Ooh, just to the right of me. Again, just to the right. All right, we'll call it on that. But yeah, let me give me some comments, give me some feedback. Uh, here as of late, my channel is hitting about two to three months old. I'm up to 70 subscribers so far. I've got my first frame coming out. To all my subscribers, all 70, thank you. Thank you very much for clicking that, that like and that, that subscribe button. I'd love to see more of you do it. It's not bad, guys. This frame is actually really, really nice. So, give me some comments, give me some likes, give me some feedback, guys. Uh, definitely give me a subscription if you haven't yet. I'm going to try to keep more coming down the pipeline. Uh, somebody the other day had asked me uh, pickle forks for aiming. I'm planning on something to do with pickle forks and how I aim. So, keep showing me that interest. That, that, that's what keeps it going, guys. Keep showing me that interest. Until next time, this is Chris with Backyard Slingshots. I've got a can to finish off. Until next time, y'all, keep it in the 10 ring.